Hi everybody, in this video I want to explain how you can change network settings of your computer before starting to use the Ghost Manager software. So I use a very useful application called NetSetMan. Uh, up to five sets you can pass from the DHCP configuration to a fixed IP address. So I choose this one with this subnet mask and you just have to activate the set number one for example. And when it's done, you can open your Ghost Manager software. So you can download uh, this application in our website ghost-network.com and it's free. So uh, you can try it uh, in an offline session if you don't have any unit. So my computer is connected to the control port on the rear of the unit. So here it's a dedicated control port. And uh, if you want to change the fixed IP address of the unit, it's very simple. You just have to click on the IP address and change to the right one. If you click enter, the IP changing. Here you have a very interesting tool. It's a ping station. You, if you click on the map, you see appears uh, different ranges you defined and in blue you have my computer and in green or yellow you have the ghost unit so you can see all fixed ip address you have in several ranges where you can define these ranges network menu network options so here you can define the first range with the start address the last address with the step mask if you need you can use a second ip address range when you define the start address, last address, so up to 256 IP address maximum. The last function is uh, allow out of range IP address. If you need to change an IP address out of range you define here, it's possible or not. Uh, just in the case, uh, maybe you manage a network core, you don't want that uh, some technicians uh, change the configuration of that one you can uh, place this IP address out, out of French. When you click OK, the ping session is running again. What about options? Options, general options. So you can define here how you want to manage your Ghost Manager software. So the first one is set port name as group name. When you create a user group as VLAN, you define a name and when you patch this group to user ports, the name of the group appears in the OLED screens. Some alert configurations about bandwidth usage, PoE usage for ghost spy model, port status down if you lose some packets. About bandwidth and PoE usage, you can adjust the critical level in percent. The last option is about IGMP snooping filtering. You can define if you want to switch on or switch off this filtering when you create user group. The care allowed yes or no and the care interval by default. Don't forget to click on submit button for this option. You can also move your unit where you want. You can also change the name or the location of this unit. So front of house, for example. And uh, you can write the configuration of the patch of any VLANs, IP address and the name in the internal memory of this unit. So just click on the right. You can also, if you have several units in the same framework, right all unit. So that's it for the moment. Thank you for watching and see you later. Bye bye.